Daily Message, September 27th, 2023. I am Part 1. In Exodus 3, verses 13 through 14, with respect to God sending Moses to Pharaoh so that Moses might bring the sons of Israel out of Egypt, it is written, Then Moses said to God, Behold, I am going to the sons of Israel, and I will say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. Now they may say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Thus you shall say to the sons of Israel, I am has sent me to you. In God's response to Moses, it appears he revealed his personal name in Hebrew to Moses, Ahia, which was translated into English as I am. In this mysterious utterance, it appears God's personal name implies his self-existence and that God is not created and free to be and act as he wills. But God's response does not end there. For in verse 15, he goes on to give Moses a parallel message. Thus, you shall say to the sons of Israel, the Lord, that is Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial name to all generations. Why do you suppose God found it necessary to give Moses this parallel message for the sons of Israel? Could it be because the parallel message included the name they historically could relate to? That is, Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Or could it be because the imperfect first person singular verb, Ahia, would sound odd if Moses went back to the people and said, Ahia, or I am, was God's name. Thus, God instructed Moses to tell the people Yahweh, or he is, was the name the people of all generations should call him by. Whatever God's reason might have been, the mysterious utterance of I am is the biblical context for the significant I am declarations made by Jesus, as recorded in the New Testament, that will be covered in this series of daily messages. With love to all, Pastor Cheryl.